Okay, we're moving on trying to get this thing slid off. We had to go and make a mental list of what we don't have done yet. The key part is we didn't have no oil on the bike yet. Is the oil tank clean? Oil tank is clean. I don't have oil for that. I can't see that tank. There it is, way down in there. Look at that. There's there's steel down in there. Is that a steel oil tank? That is a steel oil tank. Okay, that's a good sign then. Okay, and we're arguing about what kind of oil to put in it too. He wants the cheap crap that costs a dollar a quart. I told him to put the good stuff in there so the motor wouldn't blow up. Guess who won? I have the oil here that I want to use. We're using my oil. Now if you use a funnel like this, it doesn't make a big mess. So some people like that. I usually just pour it down in here to just it lubricates the whole bike. That's how I do it. Does it rust? <laughs> that's how you do it too? <laughs> if you gotta slow down a little bit though, see the has to catch that's well, not I was, a big I was gonna go with your your you method. didn't grab you didn't grab the big funnel, so and that's the oil we're gonna use. See it's upside down, but it's good. Maximum twenty fifty. Now this is the old on. stuff. The new stuff has a V twin label on it now, so this is the old brew. I'm gonna keep this Don't shit leave that me. quart laying over there. I'm gonna refill this these quarts and put this shit in my yeah, bike. Yeah, but don't leave them there, throw them on the ground outside. I got enough crap on my shelves around here. See, that's that's where the oil oils go. See, we go right out there, we'll find them. When we want them, we know they're at. <laughs> you gotta make sure you gotta bend down before you got that door though. <laughs> okay, the other thing is we don't have any wiring hooked up here for the dash, which I don't even know if there's a dash on that. We bike. don't have a dash. Okay, so we're gonna have our idiot light wire right here, which is just my little go test wire. So as soon as you put juice to this, the light comes on, so we'll be able to see if there's any oil. It's kind of important to know we got oil pressure. He's got a little gas bottle. We can do that. We do have a filter on the bike. That's a good but sign. I have the gas tank right there. And there's already oil on the oil filter. Look at that. Nice. Geez, it's already leaking. We ain't got to oil it yet. So that means you put oil on the uh, on this roll ring, I guess. Yes. Okay. So you want to make sure you wipe down all the leftover oil due from assembly, so that. When you start the bike up and you feel around for leaks, you don't want to have any leaks already made before you even start it. Where's your oil filter bench? Awesome. Didn't you tighten the filter already? No. Well, you're supposed to tighten with your fingers. I tighten the hand tight, yeah. That's how much you tighten them. So it's tight. You're not supposed to over torque them, that breaks them. It's about half to a three quarter of a turn when it hits the gasket. That's all you do. No more than that. I thought I had the light on. Now we got the light on. So, we got any more oil on that filter? I need oil for the primary. See, I'm still getting oil on my fingers. You, you this did an in, inadequate job of cleaning. What this are you doing is, over here? This is the part that I dread. I'm oh. putting the spark plug wires on right now. Oh, we got to put the plug, we haven't got the plugs done yet. <clears throat> okay, well, while I'm doing this, he's getting the spark plug wires on. We did have wires in the coil, didn't we? Okay, I got all the residue off the oil filter, so now if I put my fingers under here, up to the bike starts up and there's oil, we have a leak. <clears throat> now we want to go down here and make sure all these hoses are up in there, but you can't even see them, so I guess they're going to have to be good. We got clamps here, so that's a good sign. I would have ran the wire above the oil lines myself, but at least it's up above the frame rail so it won't rub. Which one's that? The ignition wire. That way you can pull an oil line off and not worry about the wire being in the way. We still got to put brakes on it because I don't think this brake's going to work very well without an oil line, without a line on it. Okay, so we got clamps up here underneath for our oil lines. That's good, good. All hooked up. And I'm assuming the feed one's the one that goes up under here. Now that's not too good. You got a battery cable hitting against the clamp on the starter. Probably should put a little piece of tape or something right there to protect that wire. Vibration is hard on wiring. How's the oil going? Ooh, oil. the funnel's empty. That's a good sign. Got oil in it? It has oil. Okay, leave the dipstick just laying there because we got to. Right. Want to see it circulating? Oh, yeah, we want to see circulation. Correct. Hey, you've done that before. Amazing. Okay, the gas line's not uh, where. It's going the gas that line way. Line is right here. You got a gas line hanging there? Good. There's a gas tank right over there on the shelf over there. Way over there where it belongs. Yeah, you were close. Right there. That's the one. 
It's a long distance. That's for going up to LA and back twice. Yeah, he figured out how to hang it. That's pretty good. Sure you haven't done this before? Now what are you gonna do about hooking these two together though? I'm sure you have a double male barbed nipple. Yeah, it's called you gotta go over there and get the the copper tubing. The limb yeah, the copper tubing. I get the kit off the shelf over there. It's way over there behind him, right there. That yellow stuff over there. Keep going further down, there's a tray down there. Right in that area, right where that brown bag is. Look for a yellow tray in the back. Next shelf up. See a yellow tray in there? No. Nope. Uh, it should be right there. A yellow tray right here. I don't think so. I go find it for him. Somebody moved it. O ring's what I've always used. So you don't have no sealer, but they take an O ring, but you say they take a gasket. I usually see both in there. That's not the right shit. This isn't? What did I tell you? Blue label? You said primary. I said blue right label. next to the blue label. Now my oil's open too. Are you gonna run synthetic or are you gonna run non-synthetic? What do you want to run? Is this a good bike or a crappy bike? This is a good bike. And then put the synthetic in there then. It's up to you. Am I gonna dump this primary? Why would you dump it? You can drive it for a while. Go grab the one I told you though. The blue label. You can put that in later. Put the other stuff in there. That was a synthetic primary Libby grabbed. She doesn't listen. <laughs> Just like you couldn't find a yellow container right where the yellow container was. This is yellow, isn't it? He's putting on my hand on part of the <laughs> Are you colorblind? Yeah, he's not commenting or picking on him. Okay, here's the uh, here's what we're looking for out of this kit is this little union. Because I had to go over and grab it. I was doing the camera work and now you're making me do everything again. Why well, you got all these tools scattered all over the fucking Because somebody took them all out and I didn't even use any of those. What color oil did we get this time? We have the blue. Oh we have the blue and it says primary on it. Maximum primary. I think that was the one I told you to get the first time, wasn't it? Right, let me play back the video. I'm cleaning the bike off too. Look at this crap on here. Did you have, did you have a bird near your bike on? Here, we gotta hide that so I don't see. So you want the customer to see that? I think those birds were uh, sitting up on the sign over at Chip's shop. Oh, is that where they were? Okay, so I can't do this in video. Now you said it only takes half a quart in these things. Wow. Why would it only take half a quart in a Harley? It leaks a little bit less. Oh, that's how it works. I thought I put oil. You put oil in there until it comes out the top. <laughs> <laughs> The more oil you put in, the more pressure you have against gravity feed. The more it leaks? Okay, that's the secret. Can you even see in there? Yeah, burrs. What do you got? It's actually supposed to be seven-eighths of a quart, but it's good. The oil hit the clutch basket. That means it's got enough oil in it. That's how I always do it. That looks like about the right amount. How much did it take? That was, that was pretty much the quart. It took the whole quart? See, I just dumped the whole quart in there because it's about right. Okay, so where's your gasket at? I have to go grab it. Okay, why don't you uh, hook up this line up here, and I'm gonna go look for some uh, a gasket for you. Jerry, you want a video of this? Here, look at you got a clamp and everything. No, that's your clamp. I bought, I bought that clamp. You stole my clamp from you? Already? No, it's right down. I would not steal. No. I would loosen that clamp up. Do a little, a little snot on there. There might be some snot in there. You can use it no CRC. I'm going to put this yellow container back where it don't go. Oh, that thing went all the way to the other side. No flat blades in my toolbox. Hey, Jerry, you want to go grab me that black and yellow flat blade down there right yeah, on the here. workbench? I'm kidding. He would kill you if he grabbed that one. Give me
Okay, you want the uh, uh, pink one, orange, or you want the blue? The blue is nice. Blue. Limited edition. There you go, there's a blue one. Oh, you put a cheap clamp on here. I'm, you did me on the cheap clamp, did didn't you? Did you break my clamp already? You put a cheap clamp. How many years have I been using that clamp? Jeez, I can't leave it up for 30 seconds to break something. And this is... Now, you want an O-ring also going to that primary cover so you got something for the gasket to hit against or just leave it open? Well, let's see. We can seal it up. You want the O-ring or not the O-ring? Let's do the O-ring. Okay. <clears throat> I really don't want any of this bike to leak, so... Good all stainless steel post clamps. I don't see anything leaking in that primer. Well, that's a good sign. That is a good sign. Mm -hmm. Do you keep a torque screwdriver? No. No. Try torque. Just these are just torques, not torque. You said torque. Well, you want torques. T27. Twenty seven. to my Phillips and my flat. Well, I got it somewhere else. I don't know. Twenty-seven, huh? Some of that gray case stuff, some of this stuff, just to hold the O-ring in place. Works good. Loctite doesn't work if you're greasing the screws, though. I think I'm missing right. I think I stole my red ones. Stand in there now? Yes. See, that works. That was a fucking great idea. Except he's way too much grease, I don't want to let you have to play right now. Any issues back yet? Nope. Oh.
gasoline. You got any? Negative Ghost Rider. Go buy some. You don't have any here? What are you going to try, Luke? Oh, let's put red line in there. Well, I don't have red line. You know, I like to do red line, right? You don't know how to make a tranny not leave? I didn't build that tranny. Baker probably doesn't. This is a Baker 6. That synthetic primary lube you're trying to use? That's the best tranny over there. Is that it? That maximum? All right, we'll put that in there. But they also got a, you can put a, they got the new 85-140 thick crap for new bikes and doesn't make any noise. Or you can put the low, the low performance stuff, which doesn't make Are we any keeping noise. this in the tub? No, it goes in the bucket, it goes back in the shop. Um, I can pull it back off. Now what did we forget? I wanted to change this around. Why? This was part of my fucking problem, I'm hitting. That's why we bend the brackets out. Well, this sticks. This this is FXDX, one inch axle. It's not supposed to be that long. If you yeah, look at this you side. This, why do you got this big spacer in here? Because the axle is longer. Well, take the asshole and shorten it, and then it'll fit. Or the asshole is trying to use that axle it needs to be shortened and fixed. One of those two would do the job. You put the right parts on the bike. Why can't you shorten it? What's the problem? Is there metal in there? Why don't you compliment me on my wonderfully made... That's a very nice space. You guys made that shoulder in there and everything? Yeah. That's pretty custom. Mm -hmm. I would've just cut the oxygen out. And chamfered. So. Yeah, I know. I don't own the tools. That looks like it's at least about three eighths of an inch too long. Probably a half inch too long. The only problem is stupid ass Harley, they, uh, they undercut the hell out of that damn thing. I built those spacers out of solid inch and a quarter stock. Mm-hmm. So that's why you run the bike without the exhaust on the bike. You don't have to worry about all of these other things that we're going to worry about later. Well, that thing's good. It doesn't fit worse. Why don't you slot the holes out slightly so that they go in easier. Solid, so you can shorten it. Where you at here? It's all very tight. Here we go. This is my We get the bike in the air force. Bring the bike back down. I did. Bring it back down. Okay, hold on. All right. Why does this thing fight me so much to get in and out? This is really tight, that's why. Yeah, but we're not in that far. We pass that part. The problem is it's not going to the bearing in there. It's just all real tight. Yeah, it, caliper it, is the problem right here. It's the problem. A new problem. Have the spacers jammed up in the center? Uh, no, here we go. Hang on, hang on, it's gone. You got weight on the axle now or what? Uh, I just it went the wrong way there. Sweating, 
He's an oily pig. Yeah, see, somebody put oily trash on Ben. Oily trash off the bench, we don't have oil on the bench now. Okay, jack this thing up so it rotates. Put it in neutral. Hey, we're out of gear. Okay. You know why I had the axle in from this side, right? If you put the axle in from this side and you put the thunder header on, then you always have to take the thunder header off to remove the axle. I had it the other way, but the end of that axle was a little bit too long. Yeah, well, Harley likes them backwards because they have some theory about rotation with a loose axle falling off the bike. Right. My but these have is, a clip on them anyway. So. My theory is pretty much to get some of out when you work on the bike when you want to and tighten the damn nut down. Okay, now that rotates. Now you notice you only got half the bolts holding stuff together, so don't look at that. Okay, we can go ahead and uh, leave that in the air when we run it. That way it's free to spin if it wants to. Get some oil inside the tranny. Okay, what are we going to do on the tranny? We're going to use the cheap oil, wouldn't it? Begin with. So we're going to use Worcester transmission lube because we like light duty oil that easy on turning for high speed work. You want to count that when you put it in, or you just going to pour it in? It's 24 ounces, isn't it? It's easier to do this one by reading it because it takes so damn long to figure out the dipstick method. Where's my 18 at? Okay, what number you want to fill it to? That's 18, 16, 14. You want to put 15 in now, or? And then we'll put the rest on later? Or yeah, we'll do let's do it like that. Okay, fill it up. That'd be two and a half lines down from the top, it'd be 15. Yeah. It takes 24 ounces to dry in most all trannies. I don't know about the new six feet. So. We'll go with that. Hey, some of that oily. I just got done cleaning all these up. There's another one. So we're going to go nine more. So I would do it. What do you think, Gary? Is that the right number? That's the right number. Did you go to school lately? Do you want to put a um, you want to put another gasket in that exhaust manifold or? You gotta take the pipe off again anyway. You got to work on the brake, so it doesn't matter right now. That's what I thought. Did you bring a bracket for, for holding it at all or no? No, no bracket. Just let it hang. Let's get the dipstick in the tranny if you don't forget that. This is, there, is a real pain in the is ass. Is there an O-ring on that thing to seal it? Yeah. Okay. I actually need the... That one's right over there. <clears throat> this one's a real pain in the ass because whoever engineered it, they put it... Use the ball side first. So the, uh, you have to... Was it hitting on something? Yeah, the cable. Dead center on the cable. Once I get the right amount of fluid in here, I'm going to cut this dipstick off. Mm. Yeah, it's going to break it off anyway if you have it hitting against the cable. I've got the snap on ones. So it's got some kind of a, is that the FXR cable location doing that or is it something else is wrong inside the tranny? Got some kind of weird cable act lever in there? Yeah. Easy pull or something? No, there's no easy pull, nothing like that. It's, it's just poor design. 
You're usually all in socket. We got here. You have to just get it to the right thing. You, ha you have to use this to get the first start, mm -hmm. and then you can use the Allen socket. Well, the socket can pull around the extension on it and rotate at the same time. Looks like you're going right angle. Nope. Yep. The pop. So all FXR is that way or just this one? No, mine hits the cable too, but... Soft tail, though. See, I have different when I have a snap on. Hey, what kind of these is it? Let me get in here. It's a big one. Where's it right out? It's like you have to lean it in. Yeah, but the threads are fighting already. Threads are good. And they're not that good. They're full of metal everywhere. That's a fucking attitude. And the first thread is chewed up. So I'm trying to figure out the angle. Right. She wants to go up. Circle chewing up the thread. Here, let me get it. This thing needs to be cleaned up. All right, put that off and go for and tap and go over. Baker's done a lousy job of engineering the dipstick angle on this particular machine, which is an FXR, which has an extreme angle. Unlike other motorcycles, FXR comes in almost straight up. This one work? Yeah. Not working too good, it ain't going in. It's in, it's just, it's at the tight spot. No, you're at an angle is the problem. I cut that thing at that angle, didn't I? Hmm. It's a weird angle to put these things in there. I think maybe they were trying to avoid the cable, but it just didn't work out. As soon as I had the cap off. Press the wrench over here. Official tap driver. <laughs> now this is an American tap driver tool, not a China one. You know, it might be made in China. <laughs> Definitely got to drain this oil out of it now. There's residue chrome and shit going in here right now. And grease doesn't keep it from all going in there either. I don't care what people say online. Okay, that cleaned up the first thread. I don't care how much you shorten that damn dipstick to cable with my first knuckle. I was going to cut it right there, man, yeah, at the bottom to, of the plug. You'd have to lose the whole damn thing to be of any advantage. You yeah, know. that's what I was talking about. You'd I was have just to gonna cut it, just tie up. You'd I'm have to it fucking right at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have a die right here at the thread this time, right here. But... Okay, where's that tool? I have it. Yeah. Idea exactly what angle it's at. Okay, we're at a pretty good angle, right? Right even on this lifter block. That'll help a lot on where we're at. Because we've been up here like that instead of down here where we needed to be. And see so you need to push in towards the engine to get the proper There you go. There it is. <clears throat> there it is. Yeah, the first thread was mushed, and that's the problem. I had to clean the top first thread. In the right angle. Yeah. 
Yeah, the angle is going to be it's right with this lifter block, so mm -hmm. that's the angle. It's actually a little bit above it because this is loose in the hole. It's actually just above it, it's right here at this point. So when you go to line it up, that's where you put it in at. Okay, the stick is in now. Leave that out of the way for now. Okay, did you have the bracket for the exhaust pipe that goes on the cam cover or not? No, we're going to make one. Or I'm going to make one on my own time, whatever. You didn't have the uh, original one? No, it's a discontinued item. tool for this is a fucking snap-on 12 point quarter drive half inch with a quarter drive socket it gets you clearance you get right in on them but you got the solid you need the wobble quarter drive wobble it's all like wobble okay you got yours in where it's lined up yet yes okay okay this here what i do i take and i pull on it to get it and put the gasket on the problem is the gasket's already damaged but i'll have to live with it that way Trick is you gotta pull on it and it pops in. And if you try to force it in, when that, that's when that gasket gets rolled over. You got no Harley flange nuts on here, we just use our socket to hold this in there. Instead of working on the ends of my fingers like this. True story. All right, look up. Now this one here is where you need the angle one, see? Mm -hmm. So you have a universal. It's not the same thing, but these have is close. Or if you had a real bike with the stretched out front end like they should be, you Maybe have plenty of room. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the uh... yeah, hiding in the back again, huh, Tatro? Yep. This one back here goes in eight with this one. So you're gonna pull these in equally. You didn't do that. No, you'll need one that front one on that wall. Oh. You heard that pop in. I said no. Let's find the empty container. Okay, at this point we're going to um, put some dummy plugs in and then we're going to run it up for oil pressure. As you can see, the oil, idiot oil light. These are not dummy plugs, these are test plugs. Test plugs, excuse me, not dummy plugs. As you can see, the idiot light, the or other word, otherwise known as the oil pressure light, is on. Brand new engine, essential to have oil pressure. We're going to put the dummy plugs in, the test plugs in. We're going to run up the oil pressure. Switch on. No We're going to make that light go out. No, without the ignition working. There it goes. The light is out. We do have oil pressure at the oil pump. And we got ignition. And the battery's getting dead because you're cranking it for a while. Yeah. And that little one amp charger ain't going to charge it either. <coughs> 1993 FXRS low rider convertible 100% custom everything 4 and 5 eighths crank stock bore equals 89 cubic inches got the real battery charger out because we ran that battery out down just a little bit. I probably still won't start, but I'll make sure. Time out while we hook up the battery cables. Hey, that exhausts for too long. Okay, 
What should we want? One final walk around. We have gas, we have spark, we have ignition on and off. Just throwing the hood out there for now. ground wires. It's charging more now. Better connection. Alright, gas is on in the ceiling. Almost not foamy. Take the adjustment out with the return, actually. Do it with the other one. I'll take it out, I'll put it in. I'll make sure it goes full open. Did you get full throttle? Yeah. Sure. Look at your butterfly. Can I see in there? Yep. Okay. Good. Still got free flow. But not as much. Alright. One click of the ignition switch. I gotta click it? One click. One? Click the two. Lights. Why are you clicking the camera? That one was mine. Oh. Cannot record video. Motherfucker. I wonder why. I don't know. There's not enough available storage to record video. you got too much crap on that camera. <laughs> you need a bigger camera like I have. Wow. Why is it clicking so loud? You have to start a couple times to get the electric blood up. Yeah. <laughs> These things work? Yes, they do. Really? You just gotta put that charger back on it. Motherfucker. Okay. Time out. Charge battery. Alright, are we working now? We're working. Okay, we're gonna listen to the valve platter and make this thing run. Yeah, don't touch those. Yeah. Together, anyway. You can touch them. Don't touch them together. Well, they wasn't sparking, so it wasn't important. Alright.
All right, buddy. You're doing much oil in there. Cool. We just fired up Terry's FXR. I think it runs like a rape date. Yeah. Nah. We're just doing final touch up and stuff right now. You know, wiring stuff. We did oil. It didn't run the bomb. It's Screamer.